how to activate your channeling abilities. So today we're going to be going into clearing your channel, okay, and what that looks like and how, you know, the processes that we do to clear our channel, okay. So first of all, you just wanted to go into, again, what is channeling? Yeah, so do you want to just to, say... To make that clear exactly what we mean by channeling, because it's not a great mystery, mysterious thing. It's something that... Um, in many ways, we're all doing to a certain degree. So I would say the definition of channeling is um, becoming aware of thoughts coming into your mind which do not belong to you, so that you are channeling something from an outside source. Does that mm. make sense? It makes sense, yeah. yeah. Hi, Caroline, lovely to see you. So this is what we mean by channeling. So we can channel in many ways, which we'll go into as time goes on, but... We channel our guardian angels, we channel um, spirit guides, we channel our own um, spirit, uh, our own departed members of the family. So there's a lot of channeling going on that you're probably not quite aware of. So we talked about left brain and right brain, which is thoughts, your everyday thoughts, and brushing them to one side and allowing the other thoughts at the back, I just think of it as the back of the mind, to come forward and focus on them. So, mm. what are you going to say? I wasn't going to say anything, but okay. um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we did cover that like in in week yeah. one, in you know, a couple of weeks ago. But for for me, channeling is we're always channeling source. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're always channeling love. Channeling is the ability to bring spiritual information into the physical and that's what i believe light language really has the ability to do in particular because it's giving spiritual information a voice or you know you you're creating or you're channeling expressing the movement of the energy through your body so other people are physically able to feel that and to receive that okay so they're able to receive it by yeah. looking at the codes drawing the codes themselves, speaking the codes, the codes are the sounds, okay, so it's kind of like symbols of information, of spiritual information that is coming through the, the channel and that is able to be received on a heart and soul level and the purpose of light language is to help us as a race move back into becoming more telepathic and the way that we become telepathic is actually through our hearts, okay? So what that's doing is it's it's bringing the heart and mind into one. It's dropping us down into our heart. So let us know in the comments, how did that, you know, how did you receive that? What did that feel like for you? Because for many people, they get a sense of, you know, feeling at home. It brings them back to themselves. It brings them back to the heart. Like, how did you feel when I was doing that? Or was it surprised? <laughs> I didn't know you were going to do it. So well, I didn't know I was going to do it. I was going to do it. So. <laughs> so, no, it's beautiful. And when I'm listening to Amy, I'm speaking light language in my mind. It's yeah. like it is something that you recognise from soul to soul. My, my soul knows how to do this. Um, and I can do it a little bit. It just doesn't come forward in great big long spurts like Amy does. But it's, it is coming along. But... But I can do it in my head. My head's joining in. At the, you know, my, my mind is joining in because my my soul does recognise this. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, it, take, it takes time. Like, it took time for me mm. to really allow it to flow. And that's what I mean about it brings your heart and mind, in you know, to, into one, in, into coherence. That's what it's actually doing. That's what the language is. That's the, the purpose of it, right? So, Joe says... Hi, Joe, lovely says sounds very calming so yes. yeah exactly it is it is it is really calming and it helps so much like calming your nervous system down so just before we go into the next bit if any of you do want to find out more about it you can go there is a free, i've got a free course a free two-part course if you scroll up at the top um or if you're on youtube it'll be underneath um 
like we were saying before, I have got an offer on a course, a one-to-one -one course that's ending on the 7th. If you want to find out about working with me one-to-one -one as well. But, you know, when it comes to channeling, there's so many different ways that mm -hmm. we can channel. And, you know, if you are drawn to this and you are drawn to us, then you are obviously drawn to the channeling path. And once you start opening your channel, you start channeling pretty much all the time I think mm. how do you how do you feel um, about that well as a medium you know I always have to refer to what I know as well yeah. is is uh, again this is taking us back to telepathy I believe that everybody has this to a degree and everybody can develop it um we're not all meant to be mediums as such but we, we all can have mediumistic tendencies and it, it is something that we, we realise that we're doing all the time. We just haven't quite understood what was happening. <clears throat> so, But for some people, it is more profoundly developed. And for those people, um, if you want to get in touch and feel like you would like to develop mediumship more, then again, get in touch. But um, with Angelic Reiki, again, it's channeling in a different way. Because with any form of healing, what we're doing is we're channeling energy through us. So it's healing energy, which is tangible, um, and we're putting it into into somebody else, basically. So if you were to do that with your hands for some time, you would make a ball of light. You would start to feel the density of the mm. energy and realise that this is tangible. Try doing it at home for five minutes and your hands will tingle and you will start to understand that there is a solid ball of energy that you have made. And this is how mm. healing works, is we then channel this energy. And it is coming from source as well, because we're intentionally asking the angels and asking God to help with the healing. Mm. So this, again, goes directly into somebody who, I don't want to say the client, it's just the person who we are giving healing to. See, I don't know if I see it as anything going into a person. I see it more as allowing their energy to flow mm -hmm. or allowing the, their own source energy to flow not saying that you're that that's wrong no you're, you're right the way the way to describe it then is is it's it is excess energy it's coming from the angels it's coming from source but it's meeting the patient i'm going to call them the patient it's meeting the, the patient's energy as well so it's like a because you're merging, if you remember that, we merge energies. So mm. the body has its own ability to heal. So what we're doing is we're overriding all thoughts and we're asking the person's body wisdom. Your body knows how to heal. We're yeah. directly connecting with that. So yeah. So it is. It is. It's a connection of both. Both. I think it, I feel like it, it's... It's all, isn't it? And everyone's got a different perception of how, like, the Sometimes energy flows. Sometimes it can be difficult to describe the indescribable. You have to experience mm. it. It's like when I'm when I'm doing light language in a quantum hypnosis session. It's like I can see that the sound vibration is like repairing, right? And it's like repairing bones repairing tissue repairing cells repair it's it's like i can i can feel it like bringing it back into alignment or because obviously we're already whole and the, it's giving the body the ability to yes. heal itself yeah. right that's that's my perception of it but there's many different i guess perceptions of it depending on what it is that you're doing and um, so today what i wanted us to talk a little bit about is clearing your channel and as I, as I said before, I feel like once you start opening up to your channeling abilities, what then happens is you start to have an awareness of when you don't feel clear in your channel. And I guess the way that you would know that is by how you feel, right? So something that, you know, I've definitely been working on as I've, I've been like more recently opening my channeling abilities to the next level is forgiveness. Right, because one of our, and you might think, well, how does that equate to channeling and psychic abilities and all that? Because when we are resentful, right, when we're holding on to anger or when we're holding on to past situations or, you know, we've got trauma to work through or whatever it is. And obviously this is an ongoing process throughout our lives. 
But the thing is, when we've got any kind of resentment, right, it's like it stays in our body, it stays mm -hmm. in our energy, and we're not as in a higher vibration as what we, we could be, right? And so that's why all the time, you know, in all the religious texts in everywhere, forgiveness, right? Because, and it's not that you, when you forgive somebody, because this is one of the most difficult things for humans, I believe, because whenever it's come up in coaching sessions or whatever quantum hypnosis sessions in the past, people are like, yeah, but Amy, they, such and such and such a person mm. did this thing, whatever. And I know it's not, it's not black and white. It's not simple, right? But at the same time, it is, right? Because as, as you grow more in your spiritual journey and as you go through like different awakenings and especially as you're coming into like serving other people, you really do recognize, start to recognize and have an understanding of where you're still holding on to resentment and it doesn't feel good. And that actually stops you from being the best channel that you can possibly be because when we're in a state of resentment, we're not in a state of compassion. And in order to channel well for other people, there's an element of having that compassion. But again, like we're saying, the more that you raise your frequency, and one of the biggest things that you can do is forgive, okay? So it's not about saying that what somebody did is okay. It's about saying that I don't want to hold on to this anymore and I am worthy and deserving of being happy, being in a high vibration, which also equates to manifesting a beautiful life, but it works the mm. same with channeling and psychic gifts, right? Is the more that you let go of the past, the, the more that you forgive, and you'll know when you've not forgiven somebody because you will have an emotional charge around that situation where you're still reactive, where you're still getting in a state of anger. So it can, forgiveness can look like setting clear and firm boundaries, right? In yourself, yeah? But it's, you know, there's so many elements to this that I can go into, but obviously we've not got time to do that. But basically forgiveness looks like you saying, if you find it hard to forgive, I am willing to forgive this situation. I am willing to forgive this person. And ultimately I am willing to forgive myself for holding on to this, mm -hmm. right? And you've probably heard of it before because it's very famous, but I'm going to talk about it anyway because I've been working on, on it like to really, or like complete new levels and it's the whole Pono Pono prayer, okay? I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. There is so much power Can in I those four statements. I'm going to show it in okay. a minute, right? There's so much power. I forgive you, mother, <laughs> right? For interrupting. So... There's so much power in those four statements. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you, thank you. And I actually start my day off now. As soon as I wake up, I've got this on, on repeat, on repeat, just over and over and over again, because what it's doing from a manifestation point of view, from opening your channel, the more that you repeat that, okay, it's raising your vibration and it's dissolving the energy within you of resentment so you can think of situations in the past you can think about money you can think about a person but ultimately it's about you and forgiving you okay and that radiates out to you manifesting okay clearing your channel okay because when when we're manifesting we're bringing the spiritual information again into the physical right this book and i highly recommend it to you all is called ho pono pono right all rick um Dupree right and it, it really goes into depth about you know the process of it what it does and exercises and all that so I highly recommend that it doesn't cost much it's off Amazon or wherever um but the more but you clearing your channel looks like forgiving the past right the more that you can raise your frequency the better you're going to feel the better a channel you're going to be um so I can't express that enough okay go on what's you going to say okay so I just I was just going to say um it's okay um, to say to yourself, it hurt at the time. Yeah. I acknowledge that hurt. Yeah. But I'm okay with it now. And that's when you know that the forgiveness has taken place because you're okay with it now because you recognise it can't hurt you anymore. Exactly. So, yeah, it's I'm okay with that now. It hurt, I acknowledge it, and I'm okay with that now. 
in a sense that for me is what that means yeah so it's like it's the acceptance right so you know we everyone's got a past and obviously some people have had incredibly traumatic situations happen i've worked with people that you just think how on earth have you like do you know what i mean like really 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 like i'm not going to go into it but and if they can forgive i'm sorry but so can everybody because we've all got stuff going on and when i you know when i've worked with these people i'm like wow like you forgive that person mm. then i can forgive anybody because they're a massive example of what's possible right so it's like you're not just forgiving as well i feel for yourself you're forgiving for the whole human collective because we've all come in with ancestral trauma and different things that we're working through one of the the biggest lessons in this life that you have come to work through is forgiveness and not forgiving is what creates future karma so it's like do you want to keep creating that in in you know in your future it's totally up to you because forgiveness is the way, it's the only, it's literally, it's the way, but it's, it's the only way, like, you've got to forgive, literally, like, and yeah, it takes time, and it takes looking at the thing, and it, it's hard, and, you know, and there's a lot of acceptance that comes with that, but that it's that that sets you free, it really is, and it's that that stops future karma, and it's that that opens your channel and opens you, gives yourself that foundation from the manifest manifestation point of view because a lot of the time when you're trying to manifest something and it's not coming in it's because of this reason because you need to work on forgiveness mm -hmm. sorry i've interrupted no that's fine love. so i'm just going to add to that is the importance of gratitude mm. so amy's talking about massive big hurt in your life really but the other the other thing that because we're, we're aiming at clearing our energy so i'm just going to come back to um resentment for usually it's your own resentment resenting yourself let's say you have a job that you absolutely hate right and can't find i'm just this is just one scenario and every day it's a grind so this is where gratitude can really help so even though we may not feel it at the first it's just literally being grateful for every single part of that day that's the way to change it and it starts with you by doing this, unless you've really tried it, you you know, it, it seems such a simple thing. Mm -hmm. But unless you've really tried it, you, you will not understand how um, your life can change just by being grateful. And finding that one good thing. In, you may have a situation going on at work, let's say with somebody you work with. And what you're feeling is real resentment and just anger and just don't want to be around that person. The way to change that is literally to be to find something to be grateful for around that person. I've done this so many times with situations and that person eventually has become my friend just by sending yeah. those good thoughts out to them because they can't really hurt you. That's their understanding that they're coming, if they're trying deliberately saying things to undermine you or to hurt you, then it's something that you're doing that's triggering them. The problem is always theirs. So it's important that we send gratitude to them. Just, just Can I fine. say something? I forgive <laughs> her for interrupting. That's fine, my darling. <laughs> I wouldn't say this like thought transmission is real. People can pick up on your thoughts. It's a very very Ooh, real yeah. thing right and you have the ability and this is not mind control or manipulation but you have the ability to influence others with your energy and with the thoughts that you think about them so check out the work of neville goddard right so he was a famous metaphysician and he talks all about this and it's called um living in the end um, oh my god i've forgotten what it's can't believe what it, i've forgotten what it's called but basically it'll come back to me in a second it's like the most obvious thing in in the world right but like basically you've got the ability to influence other people everyone is you pushed out that's it everyone is you pushed out so you're not to blame okay but and however you have power over your thoughts and what you think about other people so give you an example of this so when you're in a bad mood have you ever gone out and everyone around you <laughs> is all no he's also in a bad mood everyone oh. everyone's pissed off 
right? Have you ever Marilyn. gone out when you're in a good mood and you're grateful and everyone around you is in a good mood, right? So this is what I mean by everyone is you pushed out, okay? Neville Goddard, like I say, he talks about this. He goes into detail with it in his books. It's written in old world language, but it's a basic principle of manifestation, right? We have the power of forgiving. If you forgive people, that's clearing any resentment and then you're grateful. For... Okay. Everything is going to like work in your favor people are going to respond to you differently the way you think about other people affects how they are towards you i can't even tell you like how many times like this and you're like nothing is working but you know no one no one wants to buy right now or the economy or this that and the other right but the opposite can be true because there's people thriving right now as well right so it's totally mm. up to you as to what energy you're putting out there because it is all energy ultimately and if you're noticing a pattern with people particularly in relationships it comes down to something within you that is being pushed out in other people right and it's about forgiveness okay forgiveness and gratitude are two of the most people most powerful things that you can do when it comes to manifestation and to clearing your channel okay so start doing that i'm sorry please forgive me i love you thank you and that prayer covers both it covers both forgiveness and gratitude and that's why it's so powerful and the more that you speak it and the more that you say it in your mind especially when you notice yourself having a judgmental thought because it's clearing judgment mm -hmm. okay within you judgment is what leads to resentment and you, you can even go as far as and i see this you know all the time is you start judging yourself especially on the spiritual path the more you go on it you start judging yourself judging other people right so it's it's learning to become the gentle observer of your mind and what what's going on because to become a good channel to become a confident channel to become a channel that is allowing you must learn to become the gentle observer of your mind and that means bringing forgiveness in okay mm -hmm. because a lot of us have this self-critic the negative mind child that's going you can't channel no 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 right why do you think you're special or whatever the story is you know what i mean and that's the judgment and that's where you go okay i see what i'm doing i'm sorry please forgive me i love you thank you i am now an open channel i'm now ready and available to receive spiritual information yeah so use it all the time <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> Everyone. yeah have you got anything to say just before we finish <laughs> no just just um you know no matter how bad your day may seem to start is you have the ability to, to turn it around yeah by literally gratitude yeah so on the bus you know it's give thanks for if you're on the bus or even if you're in the car but yeah I'm using a bus as, a, as an example um everyone's moaning in the queue you just smile no. Thank them, thank them that the bus, even if it's a bit late, don't think late, just say thank you that the bus driver's here, smile at the bus driver, you might think you're potty, but smile, acknowledge everybody and just say I'm so thankful that the bus is warm. And just that's just an example of going yeah. on and on and on. The office is warm, the office is light, or whatever it is you're going. Yeah. So yeah, so if you, it I used to practice this and make make sure that I practiced it ten times a day, consciously. So it would usually be on the hour because I was triggered on the hour. So whatever I was doing, I'd bring my thoughts back to gratitude on the hour. And I would list all the things I'm grateful for. Sometimes it could only last six, you know, 60 seconds. And other times I figured out I was doing 20 minutes of gratitude. Because on and on and on, depending on how busy you are or what you're doing. But that's how I learned basically to become a clear channel. From doing that, my mediumship just, just went because I opened myself up, I was ready all the time to channel. Yeah, so we're giving you like basic, it, you know, these are like basic spiritual concepts, but these things, they are so overlooked, right? These, and, and anytime, you know, the messages come through, the guides or anything like that, it always comes back to these principles, 
so there's there's many different ways that you can hear this there's many different times throughout your life that you can receive this and i've just received this like I say to a, a whole new, new level in my life because mm -hmm. something something that happened recently right so we're always going to be realigned to coming back to forgiveness and gratitude yeah and and from that place that's when you're really stepping into unconditional love and again to be a good channel it means raising your frequency into one of unconditional right. love so that the angels guides and the different beings can then connect with you so you can easily know yourself as source and connect you know with the messages of source what whoever you work with so the, the basic spiritual principles are the work they're not complicated no everything come we always try and be as, as basic as we can it's that i am really impressed with amy being able to say what was it Meta i see i can't say it. metaphysical was it the, the right you said something about the, the universe that the writer that you mentioned before did Oh, is a metaphysician? That's metaphysician. it. I'm very... <laughs> Did I say that? Yeah. <laughs> metaphysician. <laughs> I think that's what I said. Something like that, I can't remember now. But it was, yeah. it was a real fancy word and I was very impressed with it. Oh, hmm. Yeah, so like, you know, check out is where everyone is you pushed out. It's one of the greatest principles that we can ever learn. Like, nobody is separate to you. And that's the point that I'm making here. Because the more you step into that unconditional consciousness, the more that you step into that unity consciousness, which is done through forgiveness and gratitude, which doesn't look like having shit boundaries, by the way. You still have boundaries, yeah. right? But you still you you also have that unconditional love as well. So that's that's what I feel like I want to say. That's the 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 lesson for today. So, you know, let us know how you receive this in YouTube um if you feel like anyone will benefit from this please do share this if any of you want to you know go deeper with your light language journey i have a one-to-one -one, um six-week course that's going to be ending on the 7th of may if you want to sign up for that it is an offer till that date um what are you doing mum yeah i'm offering mediumship um i also angelic reiki sessions and our angelic reiki for the masters level is on the 20, 21st 22nd and 23rd of june um, i'm also teaching tarot so if anybody would like to learn how to channel as in channel spirit for mediumship then just give me a little message and we'll see what we can do okay awesome so i'm going to send you these codes okay remember i'm sorry please forgive me i love you Thank you. Okay, so it's going to help you drop into your heart. Just have it on, on repeat. Work with it over and over and over and over again. The more that you do this, the more that it's going to dissolve that resentment away and remove it, okay, from your energy, from your field, which is then going to um, emanate. Oh, my God, I love that word. Thank you, guys. <laughs> got all the big words it's not me. When I don't have these words. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> going to help you to drop into your channeling abilities and open up to um the guides the beings um raise your frequency all of that so inaya hinai ki atiraha ki arahana ki maya ni aha kotea ni ea ni ia ni era inahe ni la era ko ni a ia ne e so bringing these beautiful, peaceful frequencies into the earth at this time, sharing these with one another, activating this new level of confidence in your channeling abilities and just allowing that energy just to flow and just to feel it moving through your system, taking some breaths and have a beautiful week follow us on youtube if you want to get all the past lessons and the future lessons i'm going to be uploading lots of great content on there so i'd love to see you on there yeah. and if you feel inspired to share us with somebody else we we're up for that aren't we that would be really nice yeah. for us as well all right have a beautiful evening it's lovely and sunny in manchester yep. enjoy okay. the rest of your evening okay loves okay, bye, bye.